every town has an Elm Street. <laughs> well, I don't know about Elm Street, but this town definitely has a Franklin Street. And there is a nightmare on Franklin Street going on here at the Tampa Theater. And that's why I'm here today. I'm going to attend an all day Nightmare on Elm Street movie marathon. There's a nightmare on Franklin Street. And that's part of the Halloween horror movie series going on here at the historic Tampa Theater. Six movies played all day here. I thought I'd roll the camera and take you along with me. But not only am I going to enjoy this awesome movie series of one of the most famous horror franchises of all time, I'm gonna take you inside the theater and give you a tour, some history, and possibly tell you a few ghost stories. Well, I'm glad you're here, and it's going to be fun, guys. I really love this place. It's my favorite place in the world. Let's just have some fun. Let's take a tour, see some cool things inside. You're gonna love this place. There's much ahead. The Tampa Theater was Tampa's first air conditioning building. Tampa's cool vacation land. It was built in 1926, designed by the architect John Everson, which designed over 150 of these type of movie palaces, which is what he liked to call it. It is of the original movie theaters. It is an original movie theater. It played the first silent movies ever to be created by Paramount. When you walk into the Tampa Theater, you smell the popcorn, and you go back in time to 1926. I've got goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen, because look how beautiful and immaculate, majestic, and amazing this place is. But here we are, walking into the theater. And we're gonna go down front, and we're gonna look up into the top balcony, and this will be our first little tour of the Tampa Theater. Okay, what is it tonight? I've been here a few times before and I did a video when I first started my YouTube channel but it's good to be back here with this camera which picks up the light a little better. So this is the original carpet pattern from 1926. Now however this carpet is brand new with its last renovation they added the original seats. These are the original pattern and the original pattern of the carpet. So you have the original seats back in the theater and you have the original carpet. Now here's the second floor balcony mezzanine. Here's the ladies parlor, which has a room right before you go into the restroom. And also, the men's parlor does the same. Oh, there I am. Look at me. And Freddy, woo, I'm excited to watch these movies. But look how beautiful the tile work is. And this theater is almost 100% original as it was in 1926 and that's why I call it an absolute time machine. Okay so we're gonna walk up into the balcony and this is my favorite view this is my favorite part so we're gonna look straight up at the night sky. Look at that. Look at the stars. 98 lights up there. Now, if you do happen to go back and watch my first video here, you will notice a difference right here. First of all, the lighting is better, but this column has been restored. If you go back, you'll see chips on the edge of this woodwork, and it has beautifully and remarkably been restored, and it looks amazing. And another thing I like about 
the architecture here at the Tampa Theater are these gargoyles. Check them out. They do not smile. They do not have open mouths with water to protrude out of them like you see on most statues like these are fountains. But these gargoyles are said, if you look at them, no matter where you stand, they're always looking at you. That is creepy. Couldn't help but notice tucked away over here in the corner beyond the concession stand are some original posts. Look at these. Look how old they are. Wow. Well, all right, guys. The first movie is about to start. The original the Nightmare on Elm Street. It's going to be a long day, but a long, frightening day. Welcome to seat 308 in the upper balcony. And this is Tampa's haunted seat. Confirmed by this photograph taken. Not only one of the only buildings in downtown to have a basement, one of the only basements in Florida. But this basement, through all the storms and through all the weather, has never flooded. And this is the first time I've been down here since they've restored it. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, there's two more parlors before each restroom down here. And check out this statue. Look at this. This is very cool. And over here, the water fountain, which there's several of these water fountains throughout the Tampa Theater, and they are original. And look, it still works. It's very cool to be down here in the basement all alone after watching a movie with a very popular basement, or should I say, boiler room. So since I'm gonna be here all day and night, I can't afford to lose time for editing. So looky here, a setup in the basement. Okay guys, so it's about time for the second movie to start. A Nightmare on Elm Street, part two. Freddy's Revenge. There's a lot of people that don't like this one. I like it, I think it's cool. Well, I've come out of the second movie to get some lunch and it's a lot brighter <laughs> out here right now. But uh, thank you for joining me. We'll go back soon. It's beautiful. I'm doing pepperoni and mushroom today. It's not hard to believe that the Tampa Theater is haunted when it already has a haunting look. There are many ghost stories here at the Tampa Theater, but the most famous one is the ghost of the projectionist, Fink Finley. Fink worked 35 years here as a projectionist until he passed away in 1965. He did not want to leave the theater, and that's why he never did. Ever since Fink worked here, every projectionist has reported the same occurrences. When the theater used 35 millimeter film, the projectors had to be changed two to three times during a movie. It was then the projectionist would feel a poke on the back of the neck or on the shoulder and they would look around and nothing was there. They say it was good old Fink letting them know it was time to change the reel just as he did for 35 years. This isn't the only supernatural occurrence that showed the existence of the ghost of Mr. Fink. It was also the scent of his morning coffee that would randomly enter the room or the smell of cigarettes because good old Fink was a chain smoker. There have been many projectionists quit because they couldn't take it. They knew that someone was there with them in the projection booth as they were trying to do their job. Mr. Fink was the right man for the job. And that's why he never wanted to leave the theater. He loved it. 
and he was passionate about his job. That's why he's still here. Think. Think. All right, so I just got out of part three, Dream Warriors. Stretching my legs here. Three movies in. Wait. Three movies in. I think my favorite part of part three is the graveyard scene at the end when Freddy Krueger becomes a skeleton after they, after they dig up his bones and he comes alive. I think that's my favorite part. But um, if you like part three, comment below your favorite part. Actually, what is your favorite A Nightmare on Elm Street movie? I think that would be fun. And I'm happy the organ player is here playing Phantom of the Opera. Okay guys, so I just finished the fourth film, Dream Master. It's almost 7.30 at night. It's been a long day. I've been here since 10 a.m., but there's still two more movies to go. I appreciate you joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Tampa Theater, the history, but there's still much ahead. I must remember that no matter how tired I get, I can't fall asleep. Now, the first Rocky Horror Picture Show sold out, but they will be doing another one on the 27th of October if you're interested in coming. It usually sells out every year. So get your tickets now for October 27th. Hey guys, Tampa J here. Having a great time here at a nightmare on Franklin Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. All day long. I'm tired, but I can't fall asleep because you know what happens if you fall asleep. You know. Anyways, having a blast. Thanks for joining me, guys. This place is beautiful. I could hang out here every day. So one more movie to go, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and this is some nostalgic memories for me because I actually saw Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare in Newcastle, Indiana at the Castle Theater when it originally came out, so it's been a long day. I'm super tired. I'm trying not to fall asleep. Freddy's dead. Have a good night. All right guys, it's been a long day and I'm dead tired. It's after midnight and I made it. I started way early. I got here about 9 a.m. The first movie started at 10 a.m. but I got here at nine so. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed a tour around the Tampa Theater. My absolutely most favorite place. I love movies, so it's just a awesome cathedral for me. Oh, sorry. I started dozing off there. 
Man, I'm so tired. It's almost like I, I'm having a dream. It's just, thank goodness it's not a nightmare. Well, that all being said, this is the end. But <laughs>